a UK startup is recovering precious and critical metals without energy hungry smelting methods. Des Cycle says it uses deep eutectic solvents, which selectively dissolve metals from shredded circuit boards and other e waste, while leaving most non metal components behind. The company's chief technology officer, Rob Harris, says it's more energy efficient and environmentally sustainable. So if you think about the sugar in your, in your morning coffee, it dissolves the metal selectively but doesn't touch the uh, non-metal components. What we then do is filter that, uh, the, the, the plastics uh, away from the, the liquids, and what we do is we selectively recover those metals directly back as metal uh, solids, as powders, uh, from the liquids again. They say the recovered metals can then be reused in new products. According to the UN's Global E-Waste Monitor in 2024, less than a quarter of the world's e-waste was properly collected and recycled in 2022, leaving about $62 billion worth of recoverable natural resources unaccounted for. Non-profit Material Focus runs electronic recycling campaigns in the UK. Its 2024 analysis estimates British households throw away about 103,000 tonnes of electricals each year and are storing around 880 million unused items. Executive Director Scott Butler says that rising tensions over critical minerals around the globe overlook the resources in our landfills. All the shenanigans of 2025 with calls on taking over Denmark, disputes over land in Ukraine, uh, big mines uh, coming in Latin America and, and geopolitical relations with China. This is all about the materials that's inside this urban mine of, of, of tech. It's lithium, it's cobalt, it's nickel, it's gold, it's aluminium and steel. And this is why it's really, really important. This isn't just a pile of old tech, a pile of mess. This is the future. DesCycle is set to incorporate its technology into existing waste processing operations and a leading UK electrical waste processor.